section 2 producing an assignment report in this section we're going to discuss about how you're going to produce a good assignment report particularly for this assignment design of reinforced concrete structures you know that the assignment report it is a typewritten report that produces the details of the project demonstrate and justify the analysis and design of the project present the design output of the project and highlight the lesson learned from the assignment the purpose of the assignment report will be to demonstrate the understanding on the project and its technical design aspects and also to demonstrate the ability to carry out the assignment it was given in the assignment handout these are at least the sections that need to be incorporated in the assignment report obviously this assignment is quite guided at least you know that the significant sections of the report of course you can add in more sections which you feel is appropriate but this will be the minimum of the reports these sections include the project background and descriptions, design considerations, design steps and calculations, summaries of design output, structural plan and detailing, project plan and progress, contributions of group members, as well as the lesson learned. If you look into the structures of the report, it basically related to the project info or general requirements which is related to that particular project the information regarding the analysis and the design where the design considerations is actually derived from the project background and descriptions which will later be adopted in the calculation steps for the design of the project next it will be the design output out of the calculation steps you will need to summarize the design output for a quick reference of the readers and this summary needs to be very concise and thorough preferably you put everything together only the essential outputs clearly stated where you can cross refer the relevant informations in the case that the readers will need to cross check something else there will also be structural plans and detailings as the design outcome will need to be translated into the structural plan and the detailings so that the contractors can refer to the plans in order to construct the building there must be a consistency in terms of the information for the summary of the design output as well as the structural plans and detailings you will need to make sure that these two they are supposed to be self-explanatory on its own you know that the structural plans and detailings will be given to the contractor and normally they don't need to refer to the design report therefore the structural plans and detailings need to have all the essential informations and you know that the person who read the design report may not necessarily referring to the structural plan at the same time therefore the design report itself need to be self-explanatory as well next it will be the project plan and the progress as well as the contributions of the group members and also the lesson learned from the assignment this is all about the learning process throughout the assignments the lecturer would like to know whether you can manage an assignment properly whether you are having a good teamwork and what are the things that you learn from the assignment in terms of the lesson learned again it needs to be more specific not to be in the general term and normally the lesson learned by different members will be different it shouldn't be something lump sum 
as per entire group, it should be individual. And the particular things that are learned by each member need to be specific and may not necessarily be the same. It is also not necessarily have to be on the technical skills and knowledge. It can also due to the soft skills, such as how you deal with different persons in accomplishing the project, or it can be in terms of the exposures. What did you learn from the architecture drawing? What did you learn from the local practices in terms of the constructions? And etc. You may also incorporate the discussions and conclusions in your assignment, which normally the student will do. There will be discussions also, which normally focusing on the verifications of the design output, justifications of the design considerations. It may also involve certain decision makings in order to fit the requirements in the local practices or due to certain practical aspects. For example, based on your calculations, you have acquired certain design, which different members will have different design, and due to too much variety in terms of the design, sometimes it is rather difficult for the industrial people to manage the project. This will involve the practical considerations, grouping of certain designs, so that it is more easily managed by the industrial peoples. This will lead to certain modifications in terms of what you have calculated. All this needs to be justified. 